Hey guys, in this session I'm going to show you guys how to use the solver function in your graphics calculator. Alright, so the way it works is like, so say for example if I have an equation A equals B plus 2C. Now if I actually give A and B, uh, the calculator will work out what C is. And likewise if I give out B and C, the calculator can work out what A is. So the way you want to do this is you want to click on um, menu and go into the mode that says equation. All right, that's usually number eight, as you can see there. Uh, once you click that, you're going to end up with simultaneous, polynomial, or solver. So you want to press F3, which is solver. Okay, so at this point, it should say something like equation dot dot and just have nothing in there. If it has something in it, you can press delete and just delete the formula. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to write this A equals B plus 2C equation into your calculator. So the button that we're going to predominantly use is the alpha button. So we're going to put alpha. So alpha actually unlocks all those red letters that you see above in each one of those um, buttons in your calculator. So I'm going to put alpha A. All right, now I need to find equals. Equals is actually above your decimal point there. So you want to press shift and the decimal point. That should equal equals. Then alpha B. Oh, sorry, I press shift. So alpha B plus 2 times alpha C, which happens to be there. Hang on, let me just set the lights. There we go, a lot better. All right, so there we go. I've got my equation, uh, A equals to B plus 2C. Now, when I press Enter, you're going to see A equals to 0, B equals to 0, and C is equal to 0. So let's actually do B and C first. Now, let's say I've got A plus, sorry, not A plus, Let's say A equals B plus 2C. Now, if B equals to 3 and C equals to 5, then A is equal to uh, 3 plus 2 times 5, so 3 plus 10. So I should get 13 if I put B equals to 3 and C equals to 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to B, change that to 3, press Enter. Go to C, put C as 5 and Enter. Now, when I go to A, it's, it'll say 0. That's because it hasn't actually done anything to it. So in here, you'll see a little button called Sol, which says F6. So if I press that, now it actually says A is equal to 13. Okay? So let me show you the other way. So if I had... Um, I'm running out of space here. So if I have A equals to B plus 2C, let's say A is equal to 10, B equals to 3. If that's the case, I've got 10 equals to 3 plus 2C, 7 equals 2C, so I should get C as 3.5. Okay, so let's see. So to do that, I go into A, I change it to 10. All right, B, I change it to 3. Well, it's already at 3. Now you'll see that C is actually at 5, but that's what we're trying to figure out. So we're going to go into solve, Press solve, and as you can see, we get C equals to 3.5, which is what we got here. All right, now this is a really basic, simple little equation. Now I want to show a little bit complicated. Uh, this is particularly useful for people that are doing um, level 3 calc. All right, now you might end up with an equation that looks like this, where P equals AE KT. Now, what you want to do is, um, once again, you go into your equation, all right, get rid of that formula, and you type in the formula as it is. So I've got alpha P, so I've got alpha P equals uh, alpha A multiplied by E, which happens to be shift LN. And just make sure you put a bracket around here, guys, and go alpha K, which is there, multiplied by alpha T, which is there. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually set up an equation here. Okay, so what I want to show you guys is, I know there's a few numbers here, don't worry about them. I want to know what is P when A equals uh, to 30, K equals to 0 0.2, and T equals to 10. So P is what I'm trying to find, so I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to change A to 30, K to 0 0.2, uh, T I'm going to put it as 10, and when I go to P and if I press solve, I get P equals to 221.67. All right. 
Now, what I want to have a look at is if P equals uh, 400, A equals to, say, 30, uh, what is K when T equals to 3, for example? All right. So in this case, I go into P. I'm going to replace P with 400. A is 30. K is what I'm trying to figure out, so I'm going to leave it as it is. T is 3. And now if I go to K and press solve, so this gives me a K value of 0 0.86. So guys, just remember, any formula that you have, you can actually put it in your graphics calculator, and you can substitute it in here to actually figure out what the... Um, well, whatever it is that you're looking for. All right, it's just a quick way of checking some of your answers. Um, sometimes you might get errors. That's because you haven't actually entered the equation properly. So I'd actually ask you to actually check the equation that you've done it properly. But of course, always the old-fashioned method of just rearranging is going to work as well. Okay, uh, any questions, just pop it in the comments below. But apart from that, thank you for watching.